driving north on uh, Interstate 45 as you approach Dickinson. This is a scene in the parking lot of the Old Mexico restaurant where the Dickinson Fire Department has displayed a large American flag to draw attention to a benefit for Galveston County Sheriff's Deputy Chris Dunn who is uh, suffering uh, with physical problems. We'll be here covering this and showing you more about what's going on here in Dickinson at the Chris Dunn Benefit. Here's the entrance to the Chris Dunn Benefit, sponsored uh, by Monterey Little Mexico here in Dickinson. And as you can see, uh, the people are arriving. The Dickinson Fire Department and the uh, Galveston County Sheriff's Department has uh, Quite a display of equipment out here for Chris Dunn. Uh, and race cars from uh, the law enforcement uh, racing team, of which uh, many area law enforcement officers have uh, are, are participants in uh, drag races. And of course, aim for a cure. Uh, the Leukemia and uh, Lymphoma Society is out for the uh, Chris Dunn benefit. As people are filing in here in Dickinson at the Chris Dunn uh, benefit, they are signing a, a large canvas which says, We wear violet for the hero in our life, Sergeant Chris Dunn. Each person coming in autographs this large canvas at the entrance. If you think you're going to outrun the Galveston County Sheriff's Office on the water, better think again. Here's their Homeland Security speedboat, pursuit boat, on display here in Dickinson today. Hanging from the uh, boom on the uh, ladder truck here in Dickinson, is a banner listing all the sponsors of today's event. I doubt that you can see uh, all of them, but uh, many, many sponsors. Uh, to support the uh, huge turnout today for Chris Dunn. On display out here at the Chris Dunn Benefit are uh, some race cars from the Worldwide Beat the Heat uh, racing team. We're talking right now with Officer Wayne Stewart of the Dickinson Police Department, who's standing by his race car, 11 Gator One, or 11 Gator One actually is the name of the organization that uh, he's a member of. Uh, Officer Stewart, tell us about your part, or, or about the Beat the Heat in general. Beat the Heat was started 20 years ago on the East Coast uh, with two cars. It uh, caught on and, and uh, eventually grew and grew to now we're over 400 members strong. Uh, we're in the five different countries. And uh, it's not replacing the DARE program, but we do things similar to it. We try to take kids off of the street that are street racing. Uh, and then we teach them about driving and texting and uh, alcohol and drugs. And I always see you out, uh, or, or you, your, this organization, out uh, supporting benefits for police officers or law enforcement officers in yes, various sir. agencies so that's part of your uh, yes, yes, uh, of your modus operandi so to speak also right? yes sir it is okay officer Wayne Stewart Dickinson Police Department thank you thank you for speaking with us today yes, sir. Thank you. here's a large dining area outside in the parking lot of uh, Monterey Little Mexico which they have set up and uh, will be serving Mexican food to all of those who uh, show up today uh, for the benefit. Monterey Little Mexico Restaurant. Been in Dickinson for years and years and years. And they, uh, the community spirited uh, owners of this Mexican restaurant, 
are the ones who are throwing the big feed and sponsoring the big benefit out here for Sergeant Chris Dunn of the Galveston County Sheriff's Office. Another supporter of uh, the Chris Dunn benefit is the Galveston County Citizen Sheriff's Academy Alumni Association, which uh, just about everybody in Galveston County is familiar with. A group of citizens who support their local law enforcement. Law enforcement and citizens in partnership is their motto. We got here early so we'd see what was going to happen later and it appears that there are going to be some folks at least that are going to be underwater later in the day. Splash down, throw the ball and dunk your favorite uh, policeman I guess. Of course the Galveston County uh, Sheriff's Office uh, dive team is out here today, not to be confused with the Marine Division and the boats and, and all of that sort of stuff. The dive team is a, a separate division from the Marine Division and I won't try to explain to you why or how, but that's what I'm told. They're here. Both of them are here today. T-shirts emblazoned with the moniker, We Wear Violet for the Hero in Our Life. Sergeant Chris Dunn. They're on sale out here today. Okay, here's Sergeant Chris Dunn of the Gavis County Sheriff's uh, Office, and he's the gentleman for whom all of this is about. They say, uh, Sergeant, uh, when one of us uh, has a problem, we all have a problem, and it seems to be that's the that's the truth out here today. What do you think about this turnout? I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm totally speechless. I, thank you just doesn't doesn't seem enough. I mean, it's, so many people have done so much to help me. I just I feel loved and blessed. I'm, I'm very fortunate today. I, I just can't. I still can't get over this. And it's early. There. Are, probably hundreds more to come but anyway uh, the police news and all of your friends and relatives out here uh, wish you only the best and uh, good luck to you and we'll see you down the trail as they say thank you thank you very much